Hello there, Nebulous Scholar here, and welcome to another Nebulous Adventure. This time, we've got Dragon's Dogma 2. I mean, I didn't play the original when it came out, but after 12 years, there's a sequel. And like a proper sequel that isn't Dragon's Dogma Online. Uh, I'm noting this title screen is lacking in the 2, though. I don't know what's going on with that. But it's here. And I am hyped. I will, however, admit that my hype has been uh, dampened a little bit. Because I love when I start a game and I see, like, uh, loading shaders and whatnot. Because I just know the game's going to struggle with graphics. And to be honest, I just spent like 15 minutes fiddling in the options, killing every single graphical option to as low as possible. So that way it was actually somewhat stable. That doesn't bode well. But, as long as I can play the game, it can look as, well, I'm not going to say as bad as it wants, but as long as I can still see things and the game plays, I'll tank whatever graphics I need to. I just wish developers would do that more often as well, because I'd like to play the game instead of see the game. Or rather, I'd like to be able to see the game and play the game it doesn't have to look like the prettiest thing ever, as long as it functions. I can't see the prettiness if the game don't function, you know? So, as you can probably see from the, you know, sprawling backgrounds, it's uh, looking a little grainy. But I'll work with it. Anyway, uh, yeah. I'm still hyped. Still ready to go in. So let's go on in. I don't know how this is going to start. We're going to start off with new Savan and... All that, or is it going to be totally different? There's also a very interesting, like, load bar here. Because it progresses across. But it also looks like it's, like, moving and cutting through. I don't really know what I'm saying right now. I just, I saw it and I was like, oh. Feels a little odd. Also slow. Uh, rendering the uh, shaders took, like, another 15 minutes. So I've actually been trying to get into the game for... Half an hour now? You know. It's it's fine. Long as it goes. Long as it goes. As I say that, and it's just not going right now. Game, please. It's not loading. At least the loading bar vanished. There's also no sound. Listen, I don't want to start off this game with complaining, but you're really giving me no choice. Can I play the game? Thank you. Okay, I can't really read that cursive. Conviction is a human will that reaches its greatest power. You quoting Balzac now? I feel like I'm expecting Beowulf to show up here. Is this a meat hall? Hello, sir. What say you? On a guess. Lend me your ears. You have them. Long as our Fevremont suffered without a true monarch to guide her and her people. I live a kingdom without a king. Decades have passed since last His Majesty Erland sat atop. The dragon throne. Long have we endured, yet it has not been for naught. At last, the bell has tolled on the age of the consul. At last, oh, there go the frames. Us, we may celebrate the coming of our rightful ruler. The return. Of the sovereign. It's now desynced. Awesome. My word. Such an inspiring visage. Your Majesty shall have my eternal fealty. Your Majesty, of how long I have waited this moment. Is 
Who is this? This sovereign. It's not me, is it? We're not gonna start off with that, right? Look at this throne of vocations. Oh god, frames, please. At least the wine looks good. Behold! Before you sit the rightful inheritor of the dragon throne, chosen by the dragon as its enemy. The arisen. Behold or rejoice! Fortune has delivered us our savior and It's still desynced. Amazing. Praise be. For only the sovereign's guidance can lead us true. All hail the sovereign! Did it just desync even more? Let all present pledge their allegiance to the sovereign. Let us be united in the hope that our allegiance reign will never end. Long live the sovereign of Vermont! Oh, yes, yes. yes. Thou who wouldst slay the dragon. If thou seekest to behold this world in its true aspect, abandon thy reason. Cast aside thine heart and thy life both. I like both of those though. I ask thee to demonstrate thy will. For naught but thine ambition can alter the course of the rivers of fate. Where does the river lead before I alter the course though? Excavation site jail. Are we in the undead asylum? Looks like a fighter. Fighters. Looks like a Kopesh kind of sword. And a mage with a really cool crystalline staff. Is this where I would normally create my character? Because, uh, I, I did the, uh, the character creator demo. Is that supposed to be me? Now, which one of you was it? No need to be shy. I've just got to take down a record of your name and face. Come on, step forward. You can either select a prisoner to use as a preset, or select the hood prisoner to customize your character's appearance from a blank state. That's cool. That's cool that it just gives you preset prisoners, and then it's like, make your own. But, uh, I have my own. Aha! Uh -huh. I thought I recognized you. How? Yes. Use existing character data. Yes, please. There he is. So. This is the return of Cetus. He became the Seneschal and stabbed himself. But his time in the uh, the Rift, or Between Worlds, has changed him somewhat. He still carries some of the scars of his past battles, but now he's been a bit more uh, branded with power. And his hair is no longer quite as blue as it used to be. I don't really know how to fix that yet, because the initial choices didn't really give me that option. So we have this color, which was supposed to look purplish, but it really just looks pale brown. Uh, at least the tattoos actually look more purple than they initially did. So that's good. So, we've got that. And I will be starting off as a fighter, because while Mystic Knight is no longer in this game, it will be the closest to what I'm used to. And naturally, I do want to try out a lot more of the revamp vocations and stuff like that probably gonna go thief later but let's keep it nice and comfy with fighter yeah but here we go here is cetus in the new world he may or may not have his memories as time as the seneschal and as a former arisen but you know with time the skill the power will return in this new world this new dimension because yeah now cetus is dimension hopping just what happens age is 20 
Is that going to be a thing? Also, I decided to go with Sid this time because it's an option. That's not something I can choose, is it? Oh, it is. I can go up to 999. I... This wasn't something I could choose in the character creator, and I don't know what this decides. It's not like it changes my appearance or anything. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna stick to the default 20, I guess. Because I don't, I don't know what that'll affect. That's, this was not told to me. The character creator said no such thing. Yeah, let's keep it at the default, cause, you know. If he ages over time, like, uh, what do the games do an aging sort of thing? I know Sifu does. Haven't played that yet. I do have it, but not relevant right now. And, um, <laughs> and Kronos does. Kronos Before the Ashes, which is the, uh, prequel to the Remnant games. But that also does an age thing where, like, the more you die, uh, the, the more your character ages and your stats change on that. But... That's also different. But yeah, if we're going to do an age thing, that's interesting. We'll see how that turns out. We'll, we'll keep it at 20. We don't want to get too old too quick, yeah? Besides, it's a new life for him. His soul is much older, but this body may just be 20. Now then. What should become of this prisoner? Also, why are we in jail? Like, what, what what did I do? Or rather, what did I get accused of? It's generally not great when you start off in jail. Please get my frames back. Also, the dialogue. I ill like that look in your eyes. Just clearly brazen for a pawn. I'm not a pawn. A a am I? No, that doesn't make any... Oh, a pawn? Is this just not voiced? Is that it? Oh, that's even more bizarre. Because, like, everything in Dragon's Dogma 1 vo was voiced. So it's weird that there's unvoiced lines here. Most of your kind have blank eyes as a cadaver- Or, as- Wow. Most of your kind have eyes blank as a cadaver's. Mayhap tis only natural, seeing as how you rise from the dead. I mean, pawns don't really rise from the dead. They sort of just rise from the rift. Not quite alive yet. There's aught different about you, though. Could it be that you fear death just as we mortals do? Worry not, Vessel. Three days here and you'll be longing for death's sweet embrace. Come along, you feckless dullards. I know, I, I bought the deluxe edition. Ah, I can just wave hi to people. Do I have a pawn print on my hand? That would... That would sort of give it away. If I'm actually a pawn. What happened to Cetus that he lost his soul? My whole backstory is already ruined. I wrote my whole backstory and everything, and they've taken it away. It's yeah, it's fine. I'm pretty much always just gonna be Cetus when I can, I guess. If I can customize. Still can't sprint. What is- what is that hanging up there? The hole. What are we excavating? Is that Blue Moon Tower? Or is this going to be like Red Moon Tower? It's got the same architecture. Still can't sprint. I'm being left behind. Man, I don't even have a purpose. Oh, now I can jog. Oh, no, I was going down the stairs. That's why. Look at my scars and everything. At least the hair and the beard look fine. Do your injuries pain you? Pray. Do not overexert yourself. Oh my god, it's Rook! He's still here! Bud, you're not looking great. I mean, like, 
clothing wise you, you you're ragged and all that same as all of us but rook my man what'd they do to you this is no place for one of your ilk tis harsh beyond measure even we pawns are pushed to the brink you ought not anger the overseer let us proceed to the site you got it but are you just gonna die immediately because it's like hey remember rook dies Oh my god, Rooks joined me! I can't pick him up yet. I do not understand how it is they compel us. There is no arisen among the overseers. Oh, but they have the ability to tell us what to do? Us. Uh, so I'm apparently a pawn, so. Would be unwise to disobey. The overseer will show you no mercy. Oh, we're going this way? Sorry. I didn't realize. Thanks, Rook. I get that feeling, dude. My bed calls and I shan't resist, indeed. Time for you to get to work. So you're not an Arisen, because they don't have an Arisen. So what are you doing? Are you just calling people pawns and being like, obey us because we tell you what to do? Hail, sir. Hmm. Get to work, you rotten layabout. That's not clear enough for you. Ask the other vessels what to do. I've not the time to train you. You probably should, though. You're a terrible employer. Uh, Rook? You are prepared to work. Then you all begin by carrying stones out from the station in the back and bringing them here. Got it. Pick up tutorial. Thank you, Rook. Oh, yeah. So I changed the skill button to right bumper because that makes sense to me. I don't know why I was on left bumper before. I don't know why that's the default. Because most primary skills were mapped to, like, take fighter, for example. Shield was on left bumper, because it's on the left side. And sword was on the right bumper. So I don't know why they swapped that. That really doesn't make any sense to me. So uh, I've done my own thing. That makes sense. Uh, here you go, Rook. Or do I go bring it further back? A job well done. Thank you. Now the next step is to. We can get attacked. An attack on my frames for sure. What is this commotion? Perhaps we ought to investigate. You know, if you weren't a pawn, I'd tell you to be more emotive. But. Oh, oh! I have no frames. I have no frames. Oh boy. Oh, great. This is amazing. Guys, you probably should have kept it in the oven for a little bit longer. Gun oh, that is a Medusa? I guess we're starting out with a snake tutorial. Well, those guys are dead. No, the damn thing's been awoken. Who woke it up? You got fell that fiend, even at the cost of your lives! We don't have weapons. I mean, I could probably punch it, but there's no monk class. They should give us a monk class, by the way. People have been asking for it. I want it. Ah, pick your weapon. How convenient that they fell lined up in order. But I will be a fighter this time around. I know sword and shield. Ah, instead of... You pick it at creation, so that way you pick it up here without spending time staring at the weapons. That's neat. Yeah, so shield is still on the same button now. Oh my god, there are no frames. Alright, still Onslaught Impale. Ooh, it's a jumping slash now, or jumping stab. Thanks, Rook. Rook, are you casting? Is that, Are you a caster? Or do they change you up this time? Ow. Boulders, barrels, and the like can make effective weapons that never combatant. It's true. Ah. Huh. I don't know what that did. Oh, get in the end, Dinefield. When 
delivering targeted strikes. I would recommend clinging to your first. I'm surprised she's not just turning us all to stone right now. Hey there, how you doing? Ow. That took off a huge chunk of my health. Alright, that's not working. I'm just gonna do the good old swing. There we go. So you're gonna leave now, right? We scared you enough? I guess she seems injured because she's just bumping into walls along the way. Are you unharmed? Rook is still a mage. He's got a staff at his hip. Hello. I'm not here by choice. Am I in Arisen already? So I'm not a pawn. Good. Have you just linked him to me? No. Oh, I'm already Arisen, but I lost my memories of it. That's what happened. That's what we're saying here. I'm also losing my frames. Okay, but Rook, could you anodyne me for a little bit? Are we just gonna jump in the water? But the brine! What about the brine? The brine is a thing, is it not? Or it's not a thing until later? Because I know the brine is still a thing. Rook, if you jump in the water, you're just gonna die. I'm so glad, though, that they gave us Rook back again. Because it's like, it's gotta be Rook. He was the first one. Well, I mean, I guess. I have a fall from this height. I have not even a pawn. Griffin. That's how we avoid the brine. Don't just stand there. Shoot it down. <laughs> Shoot it down. Dude pulls out a sword. Let's do what I can. I guess Savan's pawn was the first pawn, but Rook was the first of, you know. Player pawn. Go now, lost soul. Learn all you can of this world you must protect. Why you gotta choose me to protect the world? What if I just want to live my life? Granted, being enslaved like this is not cool, so at least I have the power to fight back. Alright, so I'm not a pawn. They just mistook me for a pawn. Or rather, they're just claiming people are pawns? I don't know. Look at us riding this griffin, though. How is that griffin conveniently there? I don't know. But it's convenient and helpful, apparently. Can I just get a pet griffin? That'd be really cool. You gonna drop me off here? No? Okay, you just wanna say hi to those guys? That's fine, too. You know, what you guys up to? Oh, please, frames. All right, well, I've lost a couple there. I saw Bingo Morihashi's on working on this. Oh, but I would like to have frames. This isn't, this is beyond just unstable. This is dysfunctional. Please don't ballista me. I am arisen. Please don't shoot me down. Nice shot. I'm on there, though. Well, now I'm somewhere. Director Hideaki Itsuno. I hope I enjoy your vision. It also nice to have some vision, but we'll see.
Rook, where are you? Are you okay? Do I have to revive you? Is that going to be the tutorial? A cool flame eye tattoo. Looking good. The power. It's formed tattoos on me. It flows through me. Even though I currently don't have the magic I used to. Rook, no! Great. Keep your distance, Arisen. Worry not for me. The grind may swallow me whole, but I will not perish. But I'd have to resummon you. There is a stone not far from here. Oh. Is a rift stone. Pray, seek it out. There we go. If you're truly the Arisen, then our paths will surely cross again. They did straight up just, like, remove... <laughs> oh, wait, that's even funnier. Because normally the first thing people do with Rook is toss him to the brine. And the game did that for me. <laughs> the game's like, don't even bother. We'll do it for you. We'll, we'll remove Rook for you. A griffin appears one moment and falls the next. And now you stand before me. Yeah, I was kind of on it. Things happened. Was it you then? The one who was riding on its back? Yes. It is a wonder you survived. Accompany me to the stronghold. We'll treat your wounds and hear your story. So, let me get this straight. You knew I was on there and you still shot me down? Ultramarine Waterfall. I don't suppose- Wow! Wow! You know what? This griffin is big! I- This is bigger than the ones I fought in Grancis. It's gotta be, right? This thing is huge! Oh boy. Alright, priority quests. Opening the menu needs to be a lot smoother than whatever's going on right now. Because that's not good. This should not be what I'm looking at when I hit the button to open a menu. What should happen is I should see the menu. And the fact that I'm still talking about this and the menu still has not popped up, I, I may have to, uh, Stop earlier than intended and wait for them to finish baking the game. Cause, uh, put it back in the oven. All right. Uh, history of records of your adventure. Oh, I can remember all the NPCs I've seen. Human, human, pawn human. I passed by you, I guess. Did I, are you one of the ones I said hi to? Residence, always on the move. Excavation site is where you hang out. Tutorials. Stuff. My equipments are basic. I have me a trusty sword. I'm glad that they gave me a trusty sword right off the bat. Instead of a rusted sword. This is way more functional. Uh, I am probably going to want a rusted sword at some point. But, yeah. And trusty sword has the same model as Eden's Warden. So hopefully I'll get one of those too. A round shield. Looks nice. I have no armor. And miner shirt, my, uh, laborer's trousers, and nothing else. My quests. Just the one. Follow Justin. Can do. And this should be... Oh, you know what? They relegated it all to one menu. I no longer have to go to separate menus for items and equipment. Good. Good, that's what it should be like. We didn't need two menus in the first place. And now I have all the stuff. Good. I apparently am missing my heart. Hi. Oh, I hit sprint instead. Wait, I want this. Oh, that's nice. Wow, Salubri is drawn already. Uh, the fact that I hit the button to open it and it just looted it immediately instead of opening it and then me needing to pick the thing up. Excavation site. There's certainly not like that here in Vermont. Could it be you were held in the neighboring country of Batal? Uh, probably. It was very dusty. Nay. Is that unlikely? Greenwarish. Ranged from Batal ever since the war. It is difficult to imagine any citizen of Vermont being sent there. Well, maybe I'm not a citizen. I don't have my memory. Amnesia hit me pretty hard. Gobbos. Fine. Goblins. Let's take up your weapons, sir. 
If you find your strength flagging, imbibe a curative or have a bit of green wine. Yeah. When one of the fiends comes to you, the best guard will go. They'll shoot sore on the morrow. No, you don't. Parried. Oh, look at you carrying a mace. That's a mace I never got as a Mystic Knight. I think the Mage Breaker, um, Bitter Black Mace as uh, the same model. Why are you cutting yourself off? All right, cool. Have you beheld the dragon as yet? Uh, probably. I don't remember. I not, and I count that a blessing. All I know for sure is that tis a beast e'er more fearsome than a griffin. I don't know if having the text float above his head is a better option than just having the text show up on the side of the screen. Especially because I can't see him when he's speaking. Ow. Where are you going? I'll not force you to receive treatment, but I'd at least like a word. <laughs> Did I kill him by breaking his neck on the rock? What do you mean, where am I going? I'm fighting. You're fighting too. So I can tap it for that, or I can, like, double tap it to do the jumping one? No, I have to move and do it. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool! Okay, so the move changes. If I'm moving, right? So if I'm doing this, it feels a lot faster. No, when I'm swinging at nothing, it's actually faster. It slows down when I hit. But so this is standing impale, and this is moving impale. Why is this so much faster? More green wireish. And I need to... Wait, Celebrius Draught already went onto my bar? Why? Also, is it as strong as it used to be? Recover a fair amount of health, small amount of health. Well, let me change these then. How do I do that? Uh. What? Wait a minute. What is this heart symbol? Heart one, heart one, heart three. Oh, is that just how much I have? Oh! On the Arisen versus in inventory. Got it. I am now understanding the UI. Uh, is it under equipment then that I put these? How do I set up my... Uh, how do I set up my quick menu here? C can I set up my quick menu here? Or is that a thing where it's like you can only set it at the end like you can set skills? Because it's under the same button. It better not be like you can only set it under skills. Because that's... Oh, go to items menu. No, because it just brings me here. Can I not set my quick bar? Okay, why can't I set my quick bar? Can combine two things. Oh, really? So, Salubrious Drop may be way weaker than it used to be. Because that was a super strong healing item in the first game. But if I can just make it by combining an apple and green wash, is that just supposed to be like the new equivalent to desiccated herbs? Because, sure. I still don't need, unless I can't put green, green wash on my bar? That doesn't make sense, right? How do I, can I not set it? Apparently I can't. Anyway, I'm just going to eat this. Like, I need to know how to set my quick bar. Learn how to be a fighter. I am a fighter. What's this? I can gather this. That makes sense. Oh, that's neat. I like how it breaks down as you gather from it so you know how many more to gather from. Instead of it just disappearing once it's done. I like that. I believe you are a pawn lady. I remember seeing you in the trailers. Yeah, my hair is brown. You are a pawn lady. We pawns have long awaited your arrival. Could you await with clothes? What is this? 
horns. They bend the knee to you so readily, but then... No. Surely you cannot be the Arisen. I mean, you can see my scar a little bit. The Riftstone, do you not? We can take you to it. Pray. Come this way. I think she's wearing mage clothing. That's what it looks like. Oh, that guy in the back has a surcoat? I recognize it. Before you stands a Riftstone. Tis a gate by which we of the Pawn Legion may cross o'er into this world. Pray, summon your pawn. Simply paint with your mind's eye the loyal attendant whom you would have serve you. I've already painted him. And it's not Alethea this time. I'm letting him live my life back in Grancis. So, we're going to be using a different, new friend. Say hello to Ash. So, Ash has a story behind him. Kind of. The very first D&D &D character I created was a tabaxi monk. Snow Leopard themed. So, played using Ash... And at first, he was supposed to be a vaguely whimsical cat man. You know, join the party. He's a archaeologist, so he likes, you know, dungeon diving and finding neat things. But the thing about the party I was playing with, they were, uh, dysfunctional at best. Like, a cleric who was basically role-playing a rogue, specifically a thief. He could not stop trying to rob everyone we met. And... Just really selfish and didn't want to cast spells that we could use to help ourselves live. I mean, for the record, the person playing the cleric. Fine person. The character, though, they were, they were absolutely doing the, uh, it's what my character would do. So, kind of made the party a struggle. So, Ash here had to evolve from cat man to cat dad. He had to take care of the party. And make sure we were progressing along with the plot, because apparently no one else could be bothered to. Also, he was like the only melee fighter in the party. Like, we had a ranger, a wizard, cleric, and cat dad monk. So he was kind of the frontliner, which was also really awkward, because monks are definitely more of a, you know, skirmisher. Not supposed to always be on the front lines. But anyway, uh, eventually, that group fell through. We uh, just didn't have the time anymore all at the same time. And then, for a while, Ash was retired. And then I started Monster Hunter World. And in Monster Hunter World, or rather Monster Hunter in general, you get a Palico buddy. And thus, Ash came back as a, you know, helper buddy man. Little, little cat. To help fight giant monsters with. Now, Ash is back for me, and uh, there's no monk, and I'm already a fighter, so he's going to be a thief. Similarly to myself, where I'm starting as a fighter, definitely going to shuffle him around a lot. I want to try out the other things, probably make him a mage at some point, because I actually haven't played with my own support mage in a good bit. You know, like I hired mage pawns, but my own pawn wasn't a mage, so... Maybe this time I'll have a magic ash as opposed to, you know, a, a fighting ash. But he's back in large cat dad form. Look forward to working with you. And uh, also named him Silver as a moniker. Unrelated, um, I was also playing Arknights at the time. And uh, I eventually got Silver Ash as... A unit. And this was, by the way, back when Arknights first started. Like, back on release. I actually took part in the, the closed beta. It was fun. And I got Silver Ash then. Making Ash the Tabaxi was unrelated. It just worked out. But now he can also be Silver Ash. So, Cat Dad. Cat Dad will be helping out. And just like Alethea, I made him large and in charge to help carry things. Why do you have better clothes than I do? 
He's still got a jovial look to him, though. Look at him smiling at me. We pawns are travelers of not only this world, but myriad others with which we can connect. I'm so glad you come with your own lantern. That's great. As your loyal pawn, my duty is to accompany you and use what I learn in these other realms to aid you on your journey. You're so big compared to me. I shall be with you every step of the way, and I hope to put my knowledge and experiences to good use on your behalf. I look forward to it. Well, I'll be a pawn summoning before my very eyes. You truly are the Arisen, then. Apparently. Strange. I thought the Arisen was in the capital. Apparently not. I was enslaved at a camp. Man, this breastplate makes you look really thin. Like, it looks like it's caving inward. You gotta work on those pecs, dude. Surely there's only meant to be one Arisen. Nah. Fine. This is all beyond my ken. As someone who has experienced the Arisen life, there can be multiple. It's not great, usually. They don't usually like to work with each other. The Watchhead would know what to do, I'm sure. Though, as luck would have it, he's away. Of course he is. I suppose we'll save any further questions till the Watchhead returns. You're free to do as you like afore then. Can I have clothes? I would like clothes. You've no memories, you say? Correct. Mayhap you could make for Melv, then. It was set upon by the dragon not long ago. The Arisen is said to bear some deep connection to the dragon. Should you be Arisen, mayhap you'll recall aught of import there. I mean, I'll check it out. Where are we? Border Watch Outpost, Northern Watch Encampment. That looks like a shop. That looks like an inn, actually. Riftstones. By touching Riftstone, the Arisen can travel to the bridge atwixt worlds, with uh, which a great many pawns traverse as they journey beyond the rift. This allows the Arisen to summon pawns who meet their specified preferences. These pawns will not level up while they are accompanying you, however, so you may find what uh, you need to hire new pawns at regular intervals. So, same as before. Hail, Arisen. Luxa. Pray, ask all you wish to know. I shall answer. If tis within my power to do so. Uh, sure. Can I have clothes? Tell me the lore. Nomads, we are oft called. Myrmidons. Born in other worlds, we travel here by means of the rift stones that we might aid you, Arisen. However, I cannot speak as to our true nature, for I know of it not. I do. None of us do. We do not need to. We merely do as we are commanded. I mean, it'd go a long way for you to get a will of your own, but that's kind of the point. What is this fancy rock? Riftstones are gates that connect this world to a multitude of others. I've been to them. By their power have we crossed into this world. And when our mission is done, by their power shall we return to our own. Not only did I lose frames, I apparently lost volume? How? Why? All right. Who am I? Tis the name given to fate's chosen. Those destined to command the Pawn Legion and safeguard the world from the threat of the dragon. Even with your memories lost to you, I am afraid you cannot escape your fate. Encouraging. All right, thanks. Very well. May fortune speed you on your way, Arisen. I'm assuming I can't recruit you because you don't actually have a weapon equipped. All right, there's a bunch of dudes around here. There's a cat fighter. A uh, thief lady, I think. Uh, can I get Rook back? I'd like to have Rook back, actually. Because uh, I, I want to I wanna hang out with Rook for a little bit longer. Oh, that's cool. That's a much nicer rift animation. Main pawn, huh? Wolverine. <laughs> it is Wolverine, huh? Uh... Dimitri, cat lady. Well, listen, I. I think Abby is the d like very first um, moniker you can pick. So, I think they just mash through creation for that one. Uh, but cat lady indeed. Uh, Nanami, Miara. Can I? Can I get Rook? Can I find Rook? 
Search for a pawn, view unique pawns. Official pawns? There are special pawns that can be hired from the official pawn section of the Riftstone menu. They differ from regular pawns in the following ways. Their names are displayed in a different color. Official pawns of level 10 and below can be hired without expending Rift Crystals. Armor worn by official pawns cannot be changed. Uh, official pawns will not appear in monthly or cumulative rankings and may be excluded from other aspects of the game. Additionally, official pawns may only be available for hire for a limited time, which feels dumb. I mean, like, yeah, maybe they take up server space, but listen, just, they're special. Check reps and details. So, dar there's Wooly. There's Wooly. That's fun. He's a fighter. I'm not going to hire him, but it's cool. I, uh, I used to watch, I mean, I guess I still kind of do watch the super best friends. They've, of course, since broken up. But I still follow Wooly. I enjoy getting mad at the way Wooly plays things. I will leave it at that. But anyway, uh, search for a pawn. Can I find Rook? Or previously hired pawns probably works. Rook! You're level 10? No wonder. Wait, does that mean it's going to take uh, 175 pawns? It's 170, 752 Rift Crystals. I mean, I start off with, you know, 1600 because I, uh, I may have done the Deluxe Edition. But, uh, yeah, I don't want to spend that. Sorry, Rook. Listen, I want to hang out with you, but you're not worth that much just yet. Uh, I'll take a mage. I am attentive and loyal and prefer to remain by your side. Nope. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. Nope. That sounds like Guardian. I'm not dealing that. Uh, travel together. Oh, my God. There are pawn quests that get you items. That's so much cooler. That's a good way to incentivize bringing along other pawns. And just, like, continually swapping them out. Oh, that's super cool. But, specialization, non inclination, kind-hearted. But I think that's supposed to be the same as Guardian. Because you remain by my side, and I super don't want that. I need you still to be aggressive. Uh, Bloss, I am sorry. I didn't mean to push you. You are wise indeed to have sought my aid. You are calm. I believe Ash is also calm. Uh, yeah, I'll travel with you for a bit. If we share our strengths, we can begin formulating a strategy that caters to our respective skills. Sounds good to me. Uh, pawn quests are tasks given to you by your main pawn to be completed beyond the rift. You set the task and must stipulate a reward for the arisen who hires your main pawn to receive upon the task completion. Pawn quests provide valuable opportunities for you to obtain items and acquire pawn badges, so you should endeavor to get your pawn hired as often as possible. That's really cool. When setting a reward for the arisen who hires your main pawn to receive, you can either select specific items or nominate a sum of gold. Items will be removed from your inventory. Gold will be subtracted from your funds. Oh, wait. So instead of giving gifts and items, it just takes items that you have as long as you have them? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, can I get an archer to fill out my party here? Someone who has a name. Wolverine. Why are you not a thief with dual daggers? Why are you instead an archer? Also, you're level 6, so I can't quite actually hire you yet. Oh, nope. Those those people don't exist. Got it. Uh, can I find an archer that is my level? Search for pawn. Advanced search. 2 to 4 is good. Vocation. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to find warriors and sorcerers yet, because I wonder if you'll need to still... Um level to 10 before you can change uh all is fine quest knowledge would be great uh dutiful loyal devoted priority support and it's quick to aid allies that sounds like guardian and i'm gonna stray far away from that uh defense to ensure survival no right ash is simple he's gonna go exploring and straightforward is go for offense so let's try that first No one made archer pawns. Got it. Let's broaden the search a little bit. There are no straightforward pawns, apparently. Uh, calm? Simple? Why? 
Why? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Okay, no quest knowledge then. How am I not finding anybody? Are there not pawns? Alright, unique pawns then. Let's find an official one. Sakura, you're joining me. Masculine beast red, but you're named Sakura. Okay, are there any other archers that I can look for? No, you're level 8. Oh, but they're free. No, let's keep it on level though. Also, woolly verses will continually be level 2. Huh. Let me see the profile. Not what I wanted. Not what I wanted, actually. That's not what I thought one profile would be a thing. Can we get the thing off my screen? Thanks. Just, just take it. Take, move. Get rid of it. Get, get, that'll be there for now. Some of the pawn. Can you not? Now you come up? Jeez. All right. Uh, where? There you are, Sakura. I just full summoned a full beast run party, didn't I? Sure. If tis discipline your company lacks, I can provide. Sure. So specialization in calm. It's got quest ideas. Uh, sounds good to me. Shall we discuss tactics now or later? Whenever. We can talk while moving. All right, pawns obtained. Tried to jump, didn't jump. You look like a merchant. You want me to buy something? Have a gander at my wares. You shan't regret it. You have a nice hat. Montgomery, huh? Let's talk a little bit. It isn't an easy life, but I enjoy the travel. Sounds good. What you got? Why is lantern oil separate from oil in general? Modest camping kit. Ooh, a kit that can be used to set up a camp at suitable locations. An expensive lightweight, but liable to collapse if attacked by monsters. Uh, so good for... Uh, cheap traveling, big traveling. This one's also lighter. Camping... A uh, kit that can be used to set up a camp at suitable locations. Efficient without being unduly weighty. Favored by explorers traveling far afield. So it's more expensive, but it is also lighter. I already have one. Deluxe edition, I'm sure. Um, oh, I see the symbols now. So you have... Arisen, which is the heart with the scar. Main pawn, which is just the pawn print hand. And then pawn one, pawn two. For the ones you've hired. Cool. Uh, smoke beacon that emits scent enticing to harpies. So basically, harpies will come by and you can use them to fly. I believe is the case. Stability extract. Uh, drink it to reduce chance of becoming afflicted with debilitation for a time. So it's not a cure, but it's a resistance potion. Savagery. Boost strength and magic for a period of time. Is that just, like, minor periapt in juice form already? I only have a 100 G, so I'm not buying anything, but I am perusing. Also, you don't have anything. You just have implements and a ring. Ring slightly, um, beautiful power slightly increases maximum amount of weight. <gasps> weight ring. Is that slightly, though? But if there are better rings, then okay. You do not have anything I want. Hope to see you again here long. Sure. A treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? Where? Time to be headed. Where, did, where, where did you go? Did, where's the treasure chest? Do you see it? I don't see it. I want to open it. Sure. Do you have Madeline's voice? Cassandra. You have weapons. Flutibo, Criteria, Wooden Staff, Wanderer's Hood, Sentry's Coif, Felt Cap. Where's the cap? Oh, I can't wear it because I'm not an archer. Mask, which is for thief only? Oh. Why is that limited to thief? Beseecher's Hood, that's mage. Foot soldier armor. I don't have the money for this, but I am still looking. Oh, you know what? Those look vaguely... Si oh, they're not similar at all, actually. Never mind. 
Brigand's Vest. I can't wear that because that's for Archer and Thief. Oh, look! It's almost as if Strider should use the same things. Uh, missionary's Robes. Explorer Boots. Worker's Greaves. I need money. I, I just need money. Because I'd like to have some pants and a, you know, shirt. I am dismayed that there's no longer underclothes, right? You can't have shirt pants, chest armor, leg armor. It's just chest and leg. Cuz I'll be honest, I uh I don't like the chainmail look. I'd rather have well, like I had my um what's it called? I forgetting the name of the armor, but my my padded cloth armor. Also, the elbow guards are now part of this as well. There's no glove slot. And I don't know why you would do that because gloves are kind of important to have separately. It, it really feels like a downgrade of the armor system. And it's very questionable why they would do that. Because now I've lost customizability. I like being able to pick up my gloves. And having the armor I like. And that's neither. I need money. Much obliged. No problem. I didn't buy anything. Nothing caught your eye? I have no money, Ash. Let's hope there's all worth our coin next time. I need coin to Gold buy things first. Best spent judiciously. I know. I don't have any. Autosave data cannot be relied upon in order to save your uh, to save your progress in the world. It is recommended you rest it in at regular intervals if you wish to ensure the reliability of your save data. Yep. Is this the thing I can pick up? Just a lantern? Cool. Hi there. You seem well tired. I'm not. Tell you what. You can stay here tonight free of charge. I'll expect coin from tomorrow. Mike. You know what? Thank you. My pa always used to say... There's not a good night's sleep can't fix. Not much else I can offer, I'm afraid, but you'll find all sorts at a finer inn. Yeah, this isn't really the most luxury place, but thank you for your... Why? Being armed is better than being defenseless, even if you're untrained. Still, it is worth devoting yourself to a vocation if you can. Opens up new doors, it does. So most of that line wasn't there in the subtitles, but the important part was... You should stop by the inn in Melv if you get the chance. No hard feelings if you prefer it. They've much more to offer. Again, the actual important half of that line is not there, but that's that's fine too. I'm guessing that's where the uh, you know, vocation guild is going to be as well. Staying in inn fully restores your party's health and stamina. It also recovers the loss gauge, which represents a reduction in your health and accumulates when taking damage. Yep, I did remember seeing that, and I think it works better in this game than it did in the first one because... Your health gets chopped down real quick in the first one, but here it seems a bit more reasonable. When resting in the inn, you can choose whether to re rise in the morning or at night. Useful if you need to set out a particular time. For sighted adventures, will stay at inns regularly, provided they have the money, to avoid risk when traveling far afield. I guess that's all it is, huh? I don't really need to rest right now? There's a oh, I guess I have a little bit of loss gauge. Discoveries await us about. Ah, oh, pawn chatter. How I remember you. That's not a chest. That's just there. Also, these beds don't have bed. Or rather, they don't have bedding. Or, like, padding, cushioning, whatever. They're just frames. Anything here for me to pick up? No, actually, I'm just gonna drop my frames instead. Yeah. So... One thing I did end up seeing is, and I, I kind of expected the frame rate to be less than stellar here, but one thing I did see is that I guess people would, uh, would call all of the NPCs to regain frame rate. I'm not going to do that, but it is funny. The best way to have a stable game is to remove everyone else from it. I'd rather that they just fix the game. I'd also rather they just release the game in a functioning state instead of, you know, barely functioning. But apparently that is not how it works in this day and age. Going out, are you? Not yet. You sure that's a good idea? You seem rather unwell. I'll rest. You ought at least rest for the evening. There should be a spare bed in the lodgings yonder. I know. Only don't go rushing off before you're ready. Take it from me. You're better off resting while you have the chance. Got it. 
How does your hair fit in any helmet? I guess you're not wearing a helmet. I really would like it if someone would just give me clothes, though. Like, I'm literally running around in rags and no one seems to care. Looks like any spare pants would be nice. Shoes, too. Alright, I'll rest.